Okay, real quick, I wanted to make a video on how to use search filters to filter out your song list. This is something that I do all the time, and I've noticed that a lot of people don't really know how to use these, or at least not to their fullest potential. So you should already know that you can type a word or phrase into the search bar and search through your song list that way, but there are actually specific filters out there that you can use to specify exactly what you're looking for. Basically, any information in the top left corner can be filtered for, and there are a few other cool filters as well. So let's start with a really basic filter. If I type AR equals 9, it'll filter out my song list to only show maps that have an approach rate of 9. You can also use the less than or greater than symbols to make different comparisons against the value that you typed. You can do the same kind of filter with basically anything, so CS, OD, HP, star rating, even length and BPM can be filtered using numbers. Drain time can also be filtered, and if you don't know what that is, it's basically the same as length, but it only includes playable time, not break time or skippable time. You can also search for a specific artist, song title, beatmap creator, or difficulty name by just typing the word and then an equal sign and then whatever you're looking for. Okay, there are a few more filters, and these next two I think are probably some of the most useful ones, especially when you use them both at the same time. The first one is you can filter out maps to only show the ones made for a specific game mode. If you just type mode equals and then the name of whatever game mode maps you're trying to find, the song list will automatically hide any maps that aren't from that specific game mode. So let's say you downloaded a map that has like 5 really cool OC standard diffs and 2 taiko diffs that you're just never going to play. So you don't really have to go through the effort of deleting all those taiko diffs because you can just type mode equals O and it'll filter out all those difficulties that you're probably never going to play. Another really cool thing you can do is you can filter your song list by rank status. So let's say today's a day that you're just really going to go for scores and you don't want any unranked maps to distract you. So what you can do if you type status equals R with R standing for ranked, you can actually filter out every map that isn't ranked and you can just focus on setting scores on whatever map you see. Okay, this next one isn't really a filter per se, but it's so useful that I think I should include it in this video. So every map has two ID numbers. One is the ID of the map itself, and the other is the ID of the map set which that map belongs to. And you can actually use that ID number in your song list to search for that specific map or map set if you have it. Just copy that map's ID from its URL, paste it into the song list, and if you have the map, it'll take you straight to it. This is especially useful if you have like five versions of the same song and they all have an insane difficulty, and then a tournament you're playing in has that song in its map pool. If you just type that song name into your song list assuming that you have the right version, there is a chance that you're going to end up practicing the wrong map for the tournament. And if you use the ID to look for the map instead, you're basically guaranteed to make sure you're playing the right one. So this next filter is really niche, but I actually think it's really cool. So you can filter your song list by when you last played those maps. So if you type played and then greater or less than however many days, you can filter your song list to only show maps that you either have or haven't played in that many days. The last filter I can mention is specific to Osumania, and it's just that you can filter maps by key count. This includes converts by default, so if you don't want to see converts, you can just type mode equals m after the search. And that's all the filters that Os currently supports. For me personally, I use mode equals O status equals R probably the most, and since I play a lot of tournaments, I use the beatmap ID search function a lot as well. One thing to mention is that it's actually possible to combine multiple filters into one search query, and that's something that I find myself doing sometimes. If you're really looking for a specific kind of map, this is definitely something you should keep in mind. I think each of these filters can be useful when you need them, so hopefully this video did a good job explaining all of them, and thanks for watching. Yeah. <laughs>